at 12 a.m. 12.06 a.m. August 22nd, the ward was healed. No more diseases, no more illnesses. After that, the only deaths were unnatural, man-made. For all intents and purposes, humans became immortal. This is what happens next. I am a hail from a hail over here, and this is healed. Uh, written by Joe jo Connor, illustrated by Griffin, and published by Homeless Comics. Uh, you can find uh, you can find their uh, if you want want to know if this is suggested or not. I would highly recommend it. You can pick it up uh, on their website, linked down below. But if you want a reason why, let's spend a few minutes and actually talk about it. So, what is the deal with Healed? Well, that that opening section is pretty much the whole premise of the book. It is a... Uh, we, this is set on, on Earth sometime probably in the late aughts or early 2000s. This was originally published back in, I think, uh, some of the first issues were being published back in, like, 06, uh, in, twin, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 1206 AM, August 22nd, 2011, 2011. Uh, so, yeah, what is this, um, what's the deal with this book? Well, back in, I want to say 2014, um, I visited a comic book convention with my friend. Um, and I was never really into comics prior to that, but it was this book, along with the th uh, first three tradebacks of Saga that got me into comics. Yeah, for those who might have read anything with comics, Saga's great! No one will ever deny it. But I don't think this is as well known. This is an independent, completely independent book, not published by a giant name, but is a, an excellent book. Uh, for a trade bag. Uh, I believe it is comprised of uh, five smaller issues, but this is relatively cheap for the entire thing. Uh, but like the that open of, code opening says, one, uh, you are healed. Everyone in the world is healed. No more illnesses. Nothing at all. How is the world reacting? And you get a sense that most of it is happening within the United States and whatnot. Uh, so, uh, or within uh, the Western world. So there's more of those kinds of reactions happening within in the series. But it is 15 independent stories. Uh, 15 stories. Uh, covering a wide variety of topics. Um that is well grounded well grounded and offers a great diverse amount of opinions and how certain people are reacting to different situations um, around the t around and around the time we they like right as it happens days after it happens and then Probably for the next few weeks and months afterwards, we are getting, oh, here's how it's unfolding. How are all people reacting over the next few months? And this, and we get a very good perspective. And we are coming out of a pandemic. I think this is something that we should read and experience. 
Uh, so with saying that, why do I say 15 stars? Uh, well, it's simple. Uh, of the 15 smaller stars, uh, we are following, we, they are about 5 or 6 stars I want to say about, uh, in which we are following two characters. Uh, Donna Gibbs, who is uh, a major corporation's former on the uh, corporation. I think they actually name it in the series, but I think it's completely made up. But but it's a major pharma uh, pharma R and D division of a major corporation, and her new assistant, Anthony Mendoza, as uh, and all of them are great. Like to have a number of stories include them or be about them. Oh, absolutely great. We get, like, it's a great through line that connects most of the stories together. And it offers, like, in the stories that it, it heightens, uh, focuses solely on them. Like, how is a, the pharmacy research and development division of a major corporation, how are they reacting to the world being he healed. What are they, like, why are them, they still existing? And it looks into, like, how is that they reacting? But even with stories that aren't directly about them, they are still advancing that plot line of how are they living, how are they surviving? But when it doesn't focus solely on Gibbs or Mendoza, uh, but includes them in the story, they pretty much, like, here's the main character. Gibbs and Mendoza, like, heightens the story and recontextualizes a lot of stories if it, if we never knew them previously, or it was just, so, uh, or it just included the main character uh, of it all. Uh, so, with that, like, absolutely great stories that I would highly suggest. Now, obviously, definitely for comics, story isn't everything. It is definitely important, but it isn't everything. And overall, at times, the art, definitely the background, seem either empty or completely flat. But at other times, it's one of those things of, uh, yeah, there it goes. At other times, it is the quality, like, oh, that's a great single, like, hey, oh, everything's messed up. But it's like, that's great. It's not good. And, and that's, it's weird in that everything is consistently good. I would, the art, I would give it a solid probably six, seven overall. And it's not, and at its best, it is a solid, like, eight, like, seven and a half. Like, a solid seven and a half. At its worst, it is a five. Five is average. It is of average quality for what I would call it. So to be a solid six to seven, throughout the it is a very consistently slightly above average in terms of its quality. It is not going to be for everyone, and some some of its backgrounds. Um, if you ever look through architectural uh, drawings of buildings, some of them are not are uh, like. Oh, this seems really rough. And some of the the backgrounds is like, oh, this seems rough, really rough. It's like, but it's done in that architectural design. Well, it is rough, but it holds up. It is it's rough, but not amateur. Well, that is the one I want to use.
news. Rough but not amateur. Uh, so... So, and it's all done in white and black. So it's one of those, like, things that's, like, for being in nothing but white and black, they get a lot of depth. They get, uh, depth of field. They do excellent work. Um, so, overall, uh, the book, uh, writing and overall is a solid 8, 9, and very relevant in the modern age. Uh, our, uh, artwork is a solid, I want to say, a solid six and a half. Overall, I would give the book a solid seven. It's short, but that's good. If it was any longer, I would make, it would start being an issue. So, as always, I would highly suggest reading this book. Um, granted, I realize that the current real-world situation is, I don't want to read about a world in which it's completely here. I get it. But I would definitely highly recommend it for those who want a good planet cleanser that seemingly very good in our real world situation. So as always, I'm here. I'll see you next time with whatever is possible. Oh, and as a reminder, I'll put the actual link to homelesscomics.com down in the uh, description down below. So if this ever sounds interesting, you can go and pick it up, up down there. See you next time, people. And enjoy yourselves.